Today, we're going to talk about the Microsoft Technology Associate Certifications. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today we're talking the MTA, the Microsoft Technology Associate Certifications. The MTA, as you guys may already know if you have seen my previous video where I talked about the Microsoft Certifications, if you haven't, check out this card, it's going to pop up right now and check out that video. If not, the MTA, the Microsoft Technology Associate, is the pre-entry certification line that Microsoft offers for all of their certifications. And when I say pre-entry, that's literally what Microsoft kind of words it as far as this is the like entry, entry level of certifications that they offer because the next certifications in line are the MCSA, which is the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate, which Microsoft says is the entry level certification line of certificates that they offer. So the MTA is literally, these are the certifications that are the bottom of the barrel there at Microsoft. And they're saying that these are basically entry level certifications as far as the Microsoft standards of certifications go, right? So I, I want you guys to be on that same uh, level of understanding right now because it goes, you know, the MTA, the MCSA, and then the MCSE. And it's really, really amusing to me that they say that this MTA is like a pre-entry level of certifications because the level of knowledge that you need to know to even pass some of the MTA certifications is really advanced. You really have to know a lot of things to pass some of the MTA certifications. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into the MTA certifications. First, we are going to start off with the MTA IT infrastructure. Let's go over all of the exams on the MTA IT infrastructure course line so that you guys can get a better understanding of what the IT infrastructure course for the MTA is all about. One of the exams is the Windows Server Administration Fundamentals. And basically just how that sounds, you need to know the roles, you need to know Active Directory, you know, need to know the installations, you need to know storage, you need to know how to monitor performance, maintenance, and how to manage servers. So that's just covering the Windows Server Administration Fundamentals. That's one exam that you would essentially take with the MTA just to start the process of getting the MTA IT infrastructure certification. The next exam would be the networking fundamentals. And that's basically just how it sounds. You would need to know basic hardware configs, um, basic net network configurations and things like that, uh, infrastructure um, and protocols. And that's that's basically kind of what that exam um, is going to relate to. There's nothing really specific saying, hey, you need to know everything Cisco, you need to know everything HP ProCurve, for instance, um, but you need to know networking. The next exam is the security fundamentals. For the security fundamentals, you will need to understand security layering, uh, operating system security, uh, networking security, and software security. The next part is mobile and device fundamentals. So you'll need to know uh, device configuration, data access, uh, management, uh, device security, cloud services, and enterprise mobility. So basically understanding and knowing mobile devices such as phones, tablets, and things like that. Uh, the last on that list for the exams is the cloud fundamentals. So you need to understand the cloud. You need to be able to enable uh, Microsoft Cloud Services, uh, administer Office 365 and Microsoft Intune, uh, use and configure uh, Microsoft Cloud Services, and support cloud users. Those are a lot of things to know just to get an MTA and IFT infrastructure. There's a lot to know there. There's a lot to know just in the Windows Server Administrator uh, Administration Fundamentals alone. That's a lot to know right there. So you guys can definitely go uh, online. You can definitely check out itpro.tv and uh, look at their courses to learn and study all of their courses on a lot of these things right there. You can definitely go out, 
lots of places on YouTube to learn a lot of these things before you go out and take some of these tests or practice exams. But I assure you that these exams are not easy. They are nothing compared to any of the CompTIA tests that you guys can go out and take and study for. You really need to know a lot about Microsoft. So the next Microsoft Technology Associate uh, certification that you can get is the MTA database. And that has one exam, which is the database fundamentals. So you need to understand core database concepts, uh, create database objects, manipulate data, understand data storage and administer uh, a database. So you, that may not sound like a lot and it being only one exam just to get an MTA uh, for database, just to have that one certificate and just for one exam, that's nothing compared to getting the MTA in IT infrastructure. But I assure you, database administration, it's not easy. It's not fun by any means. And understanding that stuff, it's difficult. That will be uh, definitely a, a difficult exam to take. So definitely, again, go out, check out some courses. Uh, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube also where you guys can um, you know, uh, study this stuff and uh, learn lots of great, great things on this stuff. But definitely, you guys will need to study a lot to pass any of these exams for sure. Um, you know, A lot of this stuff you guys will need to know um, just to go out to get your MCSE if that's eventually what you want to get because that could be your end goal. Well, you're going to need to know all of this stuff. And then these are by no means a prerequisite to get these to get an MCSE or an MCSA, but you will need to know all of this stuff anyway. You will need to know everything um, that all of these MTA tests have on them. You will need to know all that stuff regardless. Uh, so the last MTA um, certification that you can get is the developer. And that has three exams on it. The first exam is, is the software development uh, fundamentals. And that has a few different things. And that has, that basically says you need to have uh, pre-existing software development skills um, like Microsoft Visual Basic, .NET, it's recommended that you guys actually go out to like the MSDN site or the Microsoft Visual Studio site to take the courses and study guides and stuff there because they do have a lot of great material there. But also, again, there's lots of great material on YouTube for this type of stuff. So just do a quick YouTube search. You'll find lots of great material to study some of this stuff there. Um, the next exam is the HTML5 app development fundamentals. And you need to prove that you have core HTML5 skills and that you can run uh, HTML5 from a PC, tablet, or uh, phone flawlessly across the board there. So you need to know uh, basically how HTML5 functions across all of those devices and you need to know how to program all of that you know, from each device. So uh, you need to know HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Um, and it's the same prerequisites as above from the uh, software development fundamentals. Um, again, they say go out to the MSDN site, Microsoft, Microsoft Visual Studio site to learn more, but you guys can definitely also go out to YouTube. There's lots of great material there, I promise you. And then the last exam for the MTA developer is Introduction to Programming with Blocked-Based Languages. So uh, this one, you need to understand uh, algorithms, the way that they flow, uh, the way that they're implemented, uh, and the way that they're structured, basically. You should already have experience with block-based languages like Touch Development uh, from Microsoft, um, MIT Scratch, uh, Google Blockly, and uh, I think that's it. That's probably covers, there's probably another one in there, but I, I can't think of it offhand. And I don't have it written down on my cheat sheet here. You should also have hands-on experience with designing and developing with block-based programming languages. So. For the developer side of things, just to get an MTA in that, that's that's quite a bit to know right there. You guys basically have to know beforehand how to develop, how to be a developer. You know, you need to know JavaScript and HTML5, uh, Visual Basic, and how to develop applications. Like that's a prerequisite, all on its own. You need to know how to do that before you can even take the. Um, the developer certification test. The whole point of doing this video was to get, give you guys a basic insight of the MTA and the, the exams that you would potentially run across 
to achieve your goal if the MTA is something that you guys would like to do. I used a lot of the material that is already found on the Microsoft website to give you guys um, basically the insight that I gave you here. And um, I hope that helps you guys in some way. Um, I'm just telling you guys flat out, I don't want to beat around the bush at all. I don't want to uh, give you guys false hopes in any way. These tests for the Microsoft certifications are not easy. I've said it a few times. I've said it in the previous video. I've said it a couple times in this video. They're not easy tests. You really need to know a lot. So all I'm trying to get at by telling you guys that they are not easy is that you guys really need to take your time and study. You really need to take your time and learn all of these different, um, you know, either applications or different softwares and things that they use and really try to understand them the best that you can. And it might take a long time for you guys to really understand some of this stuff. So there's nothing wrong with that. You guys could be in school for, you know, a few years before you take an exam like this. And that's fine. There, I know there are courses out there, um, like school courses, that will take you uh, far enough to actually, you know, take some of the Microsoft certifications. So that's great. They do prepare you for a lot of this stuff. So make sure that if this is something that you're considering, make sure that you are retaining this information, that you are always going to be studying for this stuff. Because if you want to go down the Microsoft certification route, which I strongly recommend, really strongly recommend, getting your MCSE is going to be one of the best certifications that you can get hands down. It will beat out any CompTIA certification, beat out um, any other relevant certification that's comparable. And um, a Microsoft certification and a Cisco certification aren't even comparable because they are two different things. Networking to basically not networking is how you can basically look at that. So don't try to compare those at all. They're two different things entirely. But the MCSE is literally one of the top certifications that you can get that I would strongly, strongly recommend over anything else. So I hope this video kind of helps you guys out a little bit just as far as the MTA goes. And the next video that you'll see in a couple days, I will be going over the MCSA and all of the different exams that you will find on that side of things. So hope this helps. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, I know you know what to do by now. Hit me up in the comments below. Check out my other videos. I hope this helps you guys, of course. And you guys can definitely check out these guys, itpro.tv, and use the coupon code ITCQ30 to get 30% off of your subscription if you guys decide to uh, sign up with them, which I strongly recommend. Check out my video I did with them on um, the other day where I you know, talked about these guys. This is not a paid promotion for them at all. I truly strongly believe in these guys. They're not paying me to talk about them right now at all. Their stuff is awesome. Truly. Seriously. They're not paying me for this. Seriously. They're not. Anyway, hope you guys appreciate this. Check these guys out if you want to learn more Microsoft things and stuff because that material is really good. Uh, anyway, as always, take it easy.